Hey you guys, Steve Whipple, that's me for WhipFit coming to you from Maui. Um, I hope you're having a good day. I want all your days to be good. There are seven of them. I hope they all are. Um, every day I try to be productive and some days I'm more productive than others and today was um, an especially productive day. I got to teach some classes with some rad people that I love, train some clients that I look forward to training. and. Um, I've been wanting to make this message for a while, and I just haven't done it. So, on a day of feeling extra productive, here it is. Um, if you don't know, uh, every year for the last five years, I do a fundraiser for the National MS Society here on the island of Maui. It's a indoor cycling slash spin event uh, where we fundraise, and 100% of the donations go to the National MS Society. And the reason why I do this is because um, my mom, Elaine has MS, um, multiple sclerosis. Um, it's tough to say. Imagine if you had it and you have to say it. Uh, I think that's probably why they shortened it just to MS, because who can say multiple sclerosis all the time? But uh, five years ago, she asked me if I would be willing to do a fundraiser, and I said, sure. Uh, why not? Um, if, it's the least I can do. Um, so we put together a fundraiser, and the first year we did it, we did four thousand dollars, which I thought was pretty respectable. And then the next year we did ten, and it just continued to grow as excitement of this event and the fun uh, of it uh, grew. Uh, then we did eleven thousand. Last year we did eight, um, which is amazing and. We'll see what's going to happen this Sunday, June 3rd, for the 5th annual Sugar Bowl Spin. And it's called the Sugar Bowl Spin because my mom, Elaine, uh, her restaurant in New York was Elaine's Sugar Bowl. She also had a catering company. Um, so uh, the Sugar Bowl was the cover of the menu and all that I can remember. So um, that's what it is, and I hope you can donate. Uh, a GoFundMe is going to be set up very soon. You can also message me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Facebook Messenger. Mail me a letter, send me a postcard, send smoke signals, whatever you want. Uh, any way that you want to get in contact with me to donate, um, I will figure out how to connect with you. Uh, but uh, I thought to myself, well, maybe everyone doesn't even know what MS is. Because I know when my mom said all of us down, my sister and my dad, um, down at the dining room table in 1992 when she was diagnosed. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was um, muscular dystrophy, the, the one that Jerry Lewis did the telethon for all the time. I thought it was that. Um, and so we had to learn what it was. I remember being very scared uh, when she told us, and I think my sister Jackie, I think she cried uh, right there at the table because we didn't know if it meant mom was going to die or not. So I, this is a tutorial on uh, mul multiple sclerosis, okay? So what is MS? And I wrote it down because I want to make sure I say it right as well. Because again, I had to learn it too. It is a chronic, typically progressive uh, disease that damages the sheaths or the layers, if you will, of nerve uh, endings and cells nerve cells, I guess, in, brain, in the brain and spinal cord. So it's nerves, okay? So think about all the nerves that branch out from your, from your spinal cord and in your brain. It pretty much um, involves everything in the human body and mind. Um, it's a, a wide range of symptoms to be diagnosed. And that was the thing. She wasn't diagnosed with MS right away. Um, you have to go through a bunch of different tests to exclude what it's not to then come back and say this is what it is. So you keep crossing out things that it's not until you get down to what it is. Um, and it all started because uh, she was, you know, taking orders at work. There's a lot of writing when you have a restaurant and a catering company taking orders. And one day she said her hand got really tired, almost like limp. And she just thought it was... She was tired over, you know, over overdoing it, um, and so then she had a brace for a while. It was it was very uh, Michael Jackson 1990s, black or white uh, that song, that era, um, <laughs> very Michael Jackson, um, and uh, that's that's how it started, uh, and then um, little by little you know, it progressed. Um, it's hard to diagnose as well because there's no family history involved at all. It's completely random. So it can strike a family member out of the blue. And that's what uh, happened 
with Elaine. She was the uh, most active woman I'd ever seen. Um, I remember being a kid um, and thinking uh, she was incredible because she would run up and down the stairs of the town club that she worked at in these heels. And she, oh, she was, she was and is so beautiful. Uh, she, everyone said she looked like Princess Diana or Olivia Newton-John, and I just thought that was great. And my God, <laughs> if you wondered why I'm gay. Uh, but, uh, and she played softball, and she, she always was the one that made everything for family events, and she always made sure things were special, and she just, she did stuff. She had girlfriends, and they, they would do stuff. She, our Christmas tree always had an awesome theme. Halloween was always dress up that she did too. Um... She was super active, so it's really hard to see someone super active go through this progressive, um, you know, evolution of not being able to do all that, you know? Um, and I remember the first time I noticed there was a change, because she was fine, fine for so many years, um, but either I was coming home from college or she came to visit college and she had a cane, or maybe she came to visit me in D.C. right after college. I think so. She came to visit me in D.C. and she had a cane and I thought, huh, that's different for the first time that I had seen that was different. Um, and then I think I remember going home one time and there was a walker in the house like a, around. And then there was the time that uh, the first time I ever saw her in a, a wheelchair that she up controlled herself, you know. And then there was the motorized wheelchair that she was, um, that she, uh, I don't know how to say that, that she, 17 years ago, she went into a motorized wheelchair. Um, so, and that's where she's been for um, 17 years. Um, it's really hard because all of this, it, it can affect so much. It affects everything. It, there's um, speech impairment. Uh, she used to joke like, People would probably think she's drunk because her speech was slurred. Um, you know, muscular coordination. Again, her spirit is amazing. Um, so, you know, you learn to laugh at things because if you don't laugh, you're going to cry. So you laugh. And I remember one time being home, she was trying to eat soup and her hand was shaking and it was going all over and all over her face. And she started laughing. And when she laughs, she can't, she can't breathe. Like she, <laughs> it's cute. It's not bad. Uh, so she laughs and her laugh makes us laugh and it was actually funny um, but the reason wasn't uh, there's you know uh, the eyes there's vision stuff it, it weakened she now has glasses um, and fatigue it doesn't take a lot to tire her out and when she does get tired it takes a while to recover um, like days days um, and then you know, uh, the fact that physical therapy helps. She does physical therapy. She'll go through bouts where she's okay. Um, I remember one time, not that long ago, she said that she had taken a few steps. So that's how random it can be. Uh, a few steps out of her wheelchair, like walking. Um, and there's medications for it, and medications can help, but there is no cure for multiple sclerosis. Um, you have to learn to live with it, and most of the time, you have to, you, you die from it. Um, so she's been battling this since 1992. Uh, the other half of this story is my dad, and my dad's amazing. Um, the caregivers go through a lot too. Um, he's had two rotata rotator cuff uh, surgeries from years of lifting her up and down out of wheelchairs and into, um, mo uh, you know, uh, handicap accessible vans. And he's been by her side, even when things have changed between them. Um, because imagine if things up here change, things down there change as well. And that's a lot to sign on for. And, you know, that's not the woman he married all those years ago, but it's the woman he's married to. You know, it's a lot. My dad's amazing. Amazing. Um, any caregiver of any type of um, disease or uh, health issue that someone has um, affects the family around them. So my dad's a warrior. Um, so that's a little bit about, um, you know, factually what MS is, but then it's also what it means to me and it means a lot to me, you know, um, it's, it's truly been the battle of her life. You know, they built a home because our, our, our two story house in the center of town was not gonna, was not gonna cut it. That old, uh, 
you know, old Victorian style home was not going to allow her handicapped accessibility like the house that they built with low counters and um, a sto uh, stove that she can reach and wide doorways and uh, bathrooms she can roll right into the shower. So they planned early, you know, and she has a very comfortable life. Her mind is still 100% um, active and that's hard when your mind tells you that you want to do something and your body can't um, carry it out. She's still a mom. Um, she, <laughs> I joke all the time, her mouth, uh, for better or for worse, still works just fine. And uh, just the other day, I was uh, called to inform that when I wanted to call to apologize for something she, she did not care for that I did, that she would receive my phone call, which I called her like immediately after. Um, she's still a mom. And she's my mom. And uh, she's been my favorite person forever. She has been my absolute favorite person forever. So um, it's been the battle of her life, and it's been the battle of ours, and it's changed our life. And like most things that are originally a negative, if you can get through that and see it on the other side, there's usually a positive. And the positive of this is that I get to do this for her. And we get to interact on this level um, in the fundraiser capacity. And she's FaceTimed with the group last year. And she gets really excited about ideas and she wants to, she writes letters every year to thank people. It takes forever. They're sloppy as hell, but she writes letters to um, the people that help uh, support this. It gives her something to look forward to. She's always part of it, you know. Um, so, and she's real proud of it. You know, she's real proud of it. So, in life, you got to take stuff that's handed to you that's bad and figure out how you can live with it and make it better. And this is how we've done it. So, the fifth annual Sugar Bowl Spin is coming up. Please consider donating. A GoFundMe will be set up, like I said. Um, you can Facebook Messenger me. You can um, Instagram me, whatever, YouTube me. 100% of the donations go to the MS Society, and uh, we are going to do this for Elaine. So hashtag for Elaine or hashtag end, E-N-D, M-S. Thank you for your time. Uh, yeah, thank you. Have a good rest of your night. You guys are the best. Do it. Aloha.